This is our puppy, Dwayne, called Dwayne a Mater. He's an alligator. <clears throat> And before I start, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because there's tons more videos like this and tons more information on making your life with your dog very, very happy. When you get a puppy, spend a lot of time with him, love him, and understand he's going to do stuff that's going to be kind of destructive. He's going to be annoying with you and he's going to do things that are going to make you frustrated. Like he's going to bite your hand because there's treats in this hand and he's going to bite that hand. But we want to teach him to use a soft mouth and by doing what we're doing here, See, now he starts licking, and if he's licking, and we're going to wait for him to calm down a little bit. And when he calms down a little bit, he's kind of excited. But when he calms down a little bit, there we go, he can give him the treat. And we want to, one really great tip I want to give you here when you have a puppy, this is my favorite tip, because when puppies take treats, they tend to bite a lot. So they'll, they'll nip at your hand and nip at your fingernails, and it'll be very, very annoying. When your puppy nips at the treat, don't pull it away, because pulling it away is going to make him nip worse. What I want you to do when he nips at the treat is just take the treat and push it into his mouth a little bit, and when he backs off, then give him the treat. So here, I have the treat right here, right? And he's trying to nip at it, and I push it back a little bit, and then he's calm, and I give it to him. Here's the treat. I push it in his mouth a little bit, and I say, oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. I hold it here, so watch one more time. You see my, my hand's completely wet. He nips, I go, easy. And that's where I start teaching him the easy command. Here, easy, good boy, easy. Remember, this creates what we call an opposition reflex. So if a dog is biting at something and it's going away, he tends to bite more at it, right? So the more I take this away, the more he thinks it's gonna disappear, so I better bite harder when it's in front of me. So instead, create the opposition reflex, which means take the treat and push it into his mouth, gently, of course, he's a puppy, and when he gets it, he's gonna to learn to sit still and go back for it. So I'm gonna take another treat here, and look how crazy he gets. And I'm gonna just tell him, easy. Good boy, easy. And this is the easy command. Easy, easy, easy. So now, easy. Now you see what he did there? When I said easy, he sat down. I have it here, I say easy, and push him back so he knows he has to wait. No, easy. Oh, it's a good boy, Dwayne. That's a good boy, Dwayne. Easy. No, easy. No, easy. I remind him that easy means don't jump at my hand. Easy. Good boy. And puppies figure things out a little bit slower. Easy. And even though he sees the treat, he takes it nice and easy. Easy. Oh, what a good boy. And that's a great tip to make your life with your puppy a lot happier. Right, Dwayne Mater? That's a Dwayne Mater. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because there's so many videos here and you'll get subscribed on the, on the channel. You'll learn what's coming up. I'll send you an email. You can comment on the videos because I want you to learn how to raise your puppy in the most positive way to give him the structure he needs to lead a happy life and so he'll always be happy with you.